Can I squeeze at this for me? What do you reckon? I am a referee, albeit at a fairly low level, but I still reckon I've spent more time studying the laws than at least 95% of this. So let's have a proper look at this. If he's going to get sent off, it's going to be under serious foul play. So let's have a look and see what you have to do to get sent off for that. Serious foul play. A tackle or challenge that endangers the safety of an opponent or uses excessive force or brutality must be sanctioned as serious foul play. Any player who lunges at an opponent in challenging for the ball using one or both legs with excessive force or endangers the safety of an opponent is guilty of serious foul play. Okay, so let's just check this one off. Did Lerma lunge in? Yes. Did he use excessive force? 100% he did. Did he endanger the safety of another player? Well, yeah. The way I was taught, the second you leave the ground and jump into a tackle like that, you are in big trouble regardless of whether or not you make contact. There has been no challenge in the history of football where that level of force is required to win the ball. A side note, it also doesn't matter whether or not you get the ball because nowhere in that rule does it say that getting the ball means you're exempt from being sent off. So whether or not someone gets the ball is actually irrelevant in a serious foul play debate. So in this case, even if Skamaka, and I apologise if I pronounce this wrong, manages to avoid contact, Lerma should still be sent off. Think of it this way. If Lerma swings a punch at Skamaka, but doesn't make contact, the referee isn't going to wait until he makes contact and concusses him before he sends him off. Same here. It's about the potential for injury, not the outcome. I have a very, very hard time believing that Lerma was even going for the ball in the first place. He is so far away, it is ludicrous. The force going through the challenge, the straight leg, the point of contact, the fact he jumps in. There are several things he could be sent off for on their own, let alone all in the same challenge. The checklist I did at the start doesn't have to be fully filled out. The word used in the laws is or. So therefore, using excessive force or endangering the safety of an opponent are grounds to be sent off in their own right. So for me, the referee got this one completely wrong. I'm honestly in disbelief that he wasn't sent off. Thanks for watching. If you want to see me run my eye over any other decisions, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.